Sam Altman and Greg Brockman in late August said, hey, we want to come show you this thing. And so it was early September uh, when there were like 30 people at my house. And, you know, I've said it's the most stunning demo I've ever seen in my life. I mean, right up there with seeing the Xerox Park graphics user interface that, you know, set the agenda for Microsoft for about 15 years. You know, this demo was so surprising to me. The emergent depth that as they scaled up the training set, its fluency and, you know, you have to say understanding. I'm still personally in a state of shock at, wow, it is so good. The legendary Bill Gates talking about his experience with the massive GPT-4 a year ago, August 2022. It's now August 2023. GPT-4 is still the largest model in the world, but let's give that just a few more months until Google DeepMind Gemini comes out. I wanted to get a feel for what Bill actually saw with OpenAI's CEO and president sitting there in his house. I know that it was the AP Advanced Placement Biology exam, which is a pre-college, pre-university exam, getting students ready for their bachelor's degree. We obviously couldn't use something like that, uh, as it says here in this testing example. Official exam content is copyright. The IP is owned by the testing agencies. So on this platform, they actually hire professionals to write practice exams. And I've chosen this one because it looks like the questions are unique. They're not part of Google. They're designed to be 2023 questions and keeping in mind that GPT-4 is using data from 2021 and then it's frozen in time. It's completely stopped. Rather than the AP, advanced placement, I chose to use the IB, International Baccalaureate, which is said to be harder, but who knows? Let's ask this to do 20 questions for us in 20 minutes. I've also put a shortcut into my stream deck here that pastes at the end of each question. Respond in the shortest possible way, usually in one character. GPT-4 is massively verbose and will write an essay about why it chose a particular multi-choice answer. So here it's just giving us a single letter in response. I'm running this at 6x speed, so it might be a little bit difficult to see. As I mentioned, I think these are unique questions. I checked on archive.org to see if this platform had been indexed by Google and it looks like it has not been. So I'm hoping that most of these are new and unique questions and not part of the common crawl used to train. GPT-4. Here are my results. GPT-4 got question nine wrong. It was not AB as the blood type. And it also got question 14 wrong. It was not an increase in the rate of ozone depletion in the atmosphere, but the test only shows 19 questions, even though I took 20. <laughs> Here's a look at the actual AP biology exam for 2023. It was taken just a few weeks ago. All of these questions are unique. I really wanted to run GPT-4 through these, but I don't have access to GPT-4's vision component. Not many people do. Just to give you a feel for just how complex these exams are. I feel sorry for the students that had to play around with these. If you would like to know more about the GPT vision component, I believe I'm the only person to host these examples at lifearchitect.ai slash GPT-4, showing images being sent to GPT-4, which it then goes and solves with its eyes. We've had this capability for quite a while now, since around 2020, but GPT-4 seems to be better than something like Flamingo 80B, using Chinchilla as its text model, and having eyes designed for it by DeepMind. Some of these examples are really, really flooring to see it interpreting graphs or to see how it looks at tidying up a room. And you'll see a few more examples there. Thanks so much for joining me. I wish I was a fly on the wall in the room with 30 people there as Bill Gates was shown the very first preview 
of GPT-4 and the vision model as it went and solved the entire AP biology exam. I think in his case, it got 100%. It certainly got five out of five and its score might have been scaled up to achieve five out of five. I'll be back with whatever interests me and I'd like to invite you to join the memo. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Life Architect dot AI slash memo. I have the memo.